the the baby came as a surprise and uh, but i mean who, who doesn't love good surprises amen and so i mean just a few weeks when we uh when we got the confirmation then also our uh, our visas also came as a surprise and we were able to move here and then just a couple of weeks back uh, we we had the 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 due date and then also one morning we we're just going around uh, our lives and then uh, we discovered that the baby was coming far before four weeks actually before the due date so the baby has come with good surprises and we know that the surprises are going to continue to be good in Jesus' name. So we really want to thank God, thank God for the baby, thank God for how he has been with us, strengthening us. Since we came here a couple of months back, God has really just been good to us. The church has really helped us. Doors have opened, you know, in the church, even out of the church with people. We have really enjoyed favor, we have enjoyed provision, we have enjoyed a lot of things since we moved here. I really want to thank God and bless the name of the Lord for that. Amen. It's the Lord. We also have baby's grandmother here. So grandma wants to say something. Come closer. Praise the Lord. Thank God so much for bringing me among my brethren. In fact, I have a testimony concerning the father of the baby. Just as we are having surprises with the daughter. I also was surprised with his own family. So, and uh, when he came, thank God I already believed. It would have been a different thing, but God kept him. And I've always told, told him that God kept you because you believe to serve him. Otherwise, you will not be in this world. And then, at the time I was to deliver, I had a lot of problems with this pregnancy. So I was given a special uh, rendezvous with the gynecologist. The gynecologist told me that any time you feel to, or you are to labor, they must call for me because they are probably going to have an operation. So I just woke up one day and just took me. I went to the hospital. I said, call the doctor, the gynecologist. As the nurse was going to call the doctor, the baby came out when I was still in the waiting bed. So before the doctor came, he was out already. And thank God, everything is over. Praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. And that baby of yesterday is uh, the, a grandpa in the making. Amen. Now we're going to usher them back. I'm sure they, they have some refreshments. Uh, Downstairs or where? Downstairs, they have some, some refreshment downstairs. After we share the final grace, uh, feel free to go through downstairs and grab something. God bless you all. So what, how do we, how do we uh, usher them back to their seats? Jesus, Jesus, he has done it again. Jesus, he in a special way, almost impossible. You may possible, Jesus here. Amen. Finally, we're going to rise as we share the grace and fellowship. I, I, you know, I like to say we don't usually stay this long. You know, it's once in a while we have good things, good testimonies, blessings, something to celebrate. Then we just account for those. And uh, we're trusting God for every one of us will see us next Sunday. This Sunday was a connection with the virtual church, the global church. Uh, next Sunday is going to be live, live uh, activities in here. And we're trusting that we'll see you next Sunday. Don't you know what I say? I trust I'm going to see you next Sunday. Now ask them, are you the, you, have you been skipping? It looks like you've been skipping church. Are you, ask them, have you been skipping church? Skipping fellowship. Ask them, have you been skipping fellowship? 
No, if you're, if you're not in skip, is it not me? Yeah, not me, not me. Sister, it looks like uh, you're the one. <laughs> so I'm just pointing here. Now turn again, turn to the other person and say, are you the one you've been skipping fellowship? <laughs> not only will you be present. Now tell them, not only will you be present, you're going to bring your friends so you can have a good time in the presence of the Lord. How many of you were really blessed today? Praise God. To all our guests that came for the first time, thank you for coming. We appreciate, we're happy to see you. We look forward to seeing you more by the grace of God. We believe God has spoken good concerning you. To our sister, who, you're no longer a guest. <laughs> you, this is, this is, we thank God for your life. We pray that the Lord will preserve you. To our sister from Italy, we thank God for your life as well, for coming. I think I'm missing one more person. Now, turn to your neighbor and say, okay, where's the other person? Oh, yes, 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 yes. We're happy to see you. God bless you. Special, you're all special people. The Lord will continue special things in your life in Jesus' name. Now, turn to somebody that you have not met. I will be there. I will be there. Enlistment now in heaven. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. The Lord wants to write your name in the book of life in heaven right now. He wants you to forsake sin. He wants you to forsake Satan. He wants you to forsake idols. He wants you to forsake all the traditions that make you disobey God. He wants you to abandon all the culture that makes you disobey God. God is supreme. And God is above every culture, every tradition, every habit, every evil, every sin, every idolatry, and every abomination that you have done, every evil sin that has entered into your life. And so he wants you now to come unto him. Turn your mind away. Turn your life away from all those things of the past and say, Lord, I come unto you. Where are you? You raise up your hand if that is your decision tonight. And you say, Lord, I come. Lord, I come. And you write your name in heaven. Lord, I come. I abandon my sin. I abandon my evil. I abandon my iniquity. I abandon my secret sin, my public sin. Idolatry, gone. Adultery, gone. Fornication, gone. Drunkenness, gone. Smoking, gone. And all the things that people press me for, I abandon them because they are abominations in the sight of the Lord. Raise up your hand. You want that forgiveness? You want that unique grace of God? Raise up your hand. You want that universal grace of God? Raise up your hand. You want that free pardon that God wants to give you now? Raise up your hand. If you're raising up your hand, God bless you there, God bless you there. Online too, the Lord wants to give you a clear court, conversion, and salvation. Raise up that hand. If you're raising up your hand, God bless you, stand up. We're going to pray together. You're raising up your hand. You say, Lord, I abandon the past. I come to the new life. Raise up your hand wherever you are and stand up, stand up, stand up. Standing up for Jesus, standing up for his grace. 
transcending of him, faith knowing that as many as believed on him, to them he gave the privilege and the power to become the sons of God, the daughters of God too, and as many as believed on him. Where are you? You're raising up your hand, you're standing up. While you're standing up, tell the Lord, O oh Lord, I want this unique grace to come into my life. Tell him, your mercy to forgive to come into my life. Your compassion that saves a wretch like me. Give me that compassion. And the transformation, that change that comes as a result of believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. Grant me that forgiveness, the freedom, that newness of life. He'll give it to you. Tell him, tell him. The grace that comes not to gloss over our sins, but to set us free from sin. I'll do that now. You say, Lord, I've confessed and I forsake and I believe. And it will be done in your life. Round of the prayer and say, Lord, I thank you. I believe. My sins are forgiven. Lord, I believe. The condemnation is taken away. Lord, I believe. A new life has come unto me. Tell him. And when you say that, accept that, hold on to that, and believe your name is now written in heaven. I'm praying for you now. Raise up that hand if you've dropped the hand. Raise it up, raise it up. Thank you, God bless you. Father, you're loving God, compassionate God, merciful God. And you're merciful to the sins and to the sinners so that as we call upon you, even the chiefest of sinners, the greatest of sinners, the vilest of sinners, your forgiveness comes to them right now. Manifest, Lord, that you need grace, that universal grace in the heart, in the life of everyone now, in Jesus' name. Yeah. Let the joy of salvation, the joy of conversion, the joy of transformation come in every life now, in Jesus' name. Yeah. The grace now to continue living in new life. Converted life. A shining, bright life. And a life that has been withdrawn from sin. Give to everyone now in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray your people will go out with the joy of salvation. The joy of conversion. Yeah. The joy of a new life. Yeah. That everybody will see, even on their faces, in their lives, in their new pattern of life, a change has taken place. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Say, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Keep on standing. Our counselors will come to you there. And your name is already reaching in heaven. And we want to write your name and do what heaven has done concerning you so that it will keep you in fellowship and will keep you uh, discipled and developing in the Lord. Uh, let's take these uh, few minutes and let's have your name and your details the Lord bless you. Also, those online will be showing you, uh, you know, the number you have to send your details to. The Lord bless everyone.
Amen. You are welcome to the kingdom of God. The Lord who has saved you will keep you in Jesus' name. Our counselors are by you. Provide necessary information to them so that we continue to follow you up to help you in your new firm faith. As we attend to the young converts, those of us who are there, just start thanking God because tonight the Lord is going to touch you. He is going to touch you. If you are watching online or you gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message this evening, there is a link below your, below your player. Click it and fill out the form so that we can assist you further in your new walk with Christ. Also, if you are listening via radio or television, and you have just given your life to Christ, send your name, your phone number, your location address via SMS, or WhatsApp to plus 234 91 Five zero 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 nine two six three. I repeat, plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. There will be a special meeting. Lunch hour with Jesus. Tomorrow, for those who have just given their lives to the Lord now, there's a big tent by my right-hand side after the building there by 3 p.m. tomorrow. We expect you will be there because there is much to still be done in your life. There are materials we also give to you to help you in your faith. There will be a special believer's banquet for all those who gave their lives to Christ during this crusade on Sunday, the 6th of October, 2024, in all our churches globally. More details about this will be sent to you a pastor will be delighted to have you join this special banquet. For those who are in our location here, there is banquet on the twenty on the sixteenth of October, twenty twenty four, at sixty three Ubie Street, a other town here. We expect you will be there so that the Lord will bless you. 3 p.m. also is the time we expect you will be there. Counselors are by you there as they attend to you. Get set for further blessing from the Lord. The Lord is going to meet all your need. He has met your spiritual need. He will also meet your physical need. He will touch you tonight. And you will never, never remain the same by the grace of God. The blind will see tonight. The deaf will hear tonight. The lame will jump up and start leaping. They start jumping here and there. The Lord is going to do it in your life. Get ready for God's visitation. The Lord will visit you. Just continue telling whatsoever problem you have, today is your last day. Be saying bye-bye to them because you will see them no more. 
the Lord will take them away. Counsel us if you are finished where you are counseling, where you are attending to others. Go to other look uh, other side where people are still there that have not been attended today. You wait where you are. Don't move away from the last place you attend to people. Because God is going to use you as the lame is there. Just give your hand to them. By God's grace, the power of God will lift them up. And they start walking. The blind, you will try to give them something to see. Then they will shout, I can see. Then you bring them out. The, the, those who are deaf, you speak to their ear. They've never heard since they became deaf. Tonight they will hear. Tonight they will hear. The Lord is going to touch everyone because of the special anointing. Every yoke will be broken in the lives of everyone in Jesus' name. Counsel us. If the location where you are, you finish there, lift up what you have there, maybe a balloon, or you have there a flag, you raise it up to signify that you finish canceling so that the man of God will come forward to pray for us. And through the anointing tonight, every yoke will be broken. Every yoke will be broken. The yoke in your life will be broken. You will not see them again. They are leaving you tonight. At my right hand side, if you finish, can you indicate? At the middle, at the extreme, middle, if you finish, can you indicate? At my life, le left hand side, if you finish, can you indicate, please? Thank you. I can see you waving there. What about the left hand side? My own left hand side. At my right hand side, your left hand side. Remember lunch hour with Jesus tomorrow, 3 p.m. in a large tent by my right hand side after the building there. Make sure by God's grace you are there. My right hand side, if you finish. At the middle here, at the extreme middle, you finish.
those are the right hand side. You finish with something. Okay. At the middle now. Towards the extreme back. Counselors, let's quickly round up. Attend to every convert diligently. Take their telephone number. Don't miss any digits, 11 digits. Write their names clearly in capital letters. At the back of the middle, uh, the back of the middle, okay. Those listening to us over radio, television, the telephone number displayed on the screen, you telephone it. Send necessary information to us via WhatsApp for further help. If you are true at the middle, waves your hand to me or wave whatsoever indicates you are waving your hand to me. Return the slip to your supervisor. We take it to the appropriate quarter. At the right extreme, at the back of the right hand side, please wave your hand or a piece of paper, whatsoever you are giving, to indicate so that we know you have finished counseling. Okay, thank you very much. Let's rise up now. Let's rise up now as the man of God comes up now. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. My time has come. Healing, deliverance, 
Redemption. Miracle. Is coming your way. Behold, I give unto you power. To tread on your serpents, on your sickness, and scorpion, and demons, and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing, help me shout nothing. Nothing, nothing shout nothing. Shall by any means hurt you. Every hurt will be taken away from your life. Harm taken away from your life. Sickness taken away from your life. Demon attack, demon oppression, everything is broken right now. Your blind eyes will see. Your lame legs will receive strength. We that hands will be made whole. Yeah. New life in every cell of your body. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Raise up that hand. Lay the other hand on your cell. A miracle will get to you right there. Yeah. And after the final amen, check up. Those serpents as compiers are gone. Yeah. After the final amen, all the things that hurt you, harm you, you'll check up, they'll vanish away. Yeah. Joy tonight. Yeah. Jubilation tonight. Yeah. Rejoicing because of the power of God in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Yeah. Raise up that hand. Your miracle is ready and you're ready for your miracle. Father, in Jesus' name, we know that name will never fail. That name will destroy all the works of the devil. That name will bring healing, deliverance, freedom, and redemption. Every part of the body tonight, in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, the healing virtue of Jesus Christ will flow on everyone from the top of the head to the tip of the toe. Miracle for everyone here tonight in Jesus' name. Those blind eyes, I command you, be opened and see clearly. Deaf ears, be opened and receive your hearing Clearly in Jesus' name. Dumb tongues, speak out. Ulcer, be healed. Cancer, be healed. Arthritis, be healed. Lameness, be healed. And all the pains in your joints, any part of your body, be healed in Jesus' name. Anything wrong with your blood, blood clotting or high blood pressure, sugar, and blood, whatever. Be healed in Jesus' name. And I pray you cancel and destroy every work of the devil. Set everyone free. Miracle everywhere. Healing everywhere. To my right, to my left, at the back, in the middle, in the front, healing for everyone in Jesus' name. Online, everywhere. I pray that the healing virtue of Christ will flow to everyone right now in Jesus' name. Over the radio, on the television, those who are watching, Lord, I pray this will be the moment of miracle, power, demonstration, manifestation in every life in Jesus' name. Confirm it on everyone. Testimony from the left hand side there. Right hand side there, testimony. In the middle, in front, testimony everywhere. The joy of the Lord and the joy.